Hi and welcome to part 3 of the ambient illumination installation in Goldmark 7. So, as you can see, I've already replaced the door cards. I was making a tutorial how I'm doing all of that, but there were some uh, complications and, uh, well, let me just guide you through it and later on I will show you the footage that uh, that's usable over here and also some night footage so we can see how the illumination works. Okay, so I thought why looking at the service manuals it's a simple job, so let's just um, uh, do it. I mean, how hard can it be? So the first thing that you need to do is remove this cover. You need to pry it from here. There's a screw over here. There's a second, uh, second one over here. There's a lock, plastic lock over here that you need to turn 90 degrees either side. And after that, there are some clips. There are three clips on the uh, uh, side of the car and there are two clips over here one is here one is here I thought that that there are three that there's a one additional one over here but this is not a clip like all those other mm, but uh, it's something different when you are putting uh, when you are putting the new card over here you just need to smack it in place like all the other ones but when you are removing uh, the door card you need to release those five and then lift the uh, door card because this um, this will not uh, let you this will not be released if you are pulling on it you need to lift it up just like you would lift it up from this edge and I spent uh, <laughs> I don't know 15 minutes before um, before I figured it, it out of course I checked uh, I checked some other YouTube videos to check how to remove it when I uh, when I um, um, came to this um, uh, to this point of installation when I had this problem but uh, videos that I found were not explaining that this mounting point this sixth one is uh, somehow different from the other um, the other five everybody lies okay so once this is released you need to um, uh, you need to disconnect all the wiring from the door and the door handle cable which is pretty simple there's a single uh, wire that connects the handle and there's a connector for the door locks connector for um, uh, for your mirror adjustment there's an LED connector or you can take the LED um, all together uh, out from the door card there's a connector for the um, windows adjustment and that's pretty much it after that you need to add some wires to the uh, to the door control module which is located somewhere over here there's uh, there's a bunch of connectors over over there but you are interested in the uh, the biggest one uh, the 32 pin connector and you need to add wires to pin 3 pin 8 this is for uh, this light and the ambient illumination those are two separate circuits the um, the door handle illumination is one and the ambient illumination is another one and I've also added um, a, um, a cable to pin 16 for the door warning light as you can see I've replaced the reflective plastic with a warning light and those three pins are uh, power connections and you need a ground connection. I thought that I can take ground connection from the door. There are screws for the uh, window mechanism and I thought maybe I will um, I will connect over there but the door body is not connected to the car body, to the car ground. So um, you cannot make it work using the ground connection from the from the door. You need to um, uh, Take, uh, you need to use a ground connection from one of those uh, wires that go from the uh, from the door uh, control module. For example, the brown wire that goes to the uh, Windows control uh, buttons. Okay, so when the wiring is done, you can install new door cards. Um, put everything back together with the additional uh, connector for the uh, illumination. Then it's time for coding. You need to make sure that your 5F module, the infotainment control module, is coded for background illumination, as well as the BCM module, which is somewhere over here. And of course, your door modules, the driver door and the passenger 
passenger door module is coded. And this coding is in the description below this video. So there's a bunch of adaptations that you need to check, if not change in your car, just to make sure that this will work properly with the uh, brightness adjustment from your infotainment control module. And um, there's a bunch of settings that you need to set over there just to make sure it will illuminate in all the right uh, moments when you turn off the ignition or unlock your doors and so on. That's it for me right now. It's not a tutorial per se right now, more like a behind the scenes. So uh, enjoy. Okay, so the side card is off and I just need to tell you that there are five clips, five standard clips, one, two, three under the speaker, four just above the speaker and fifth is over here, still over here. I need to remove it and put it in the new seal card. And the sixth one is a different one. And in fact, it shouldn't, should not pop. You should, uh, should not try to pull it. But once you have those five, those five removed, you need to try to just lift the side card up and this, this will slide up. This is the element that's installed in the side card. I need to transfer it to the new one. And you can see that it's a different kind of, a different uh, kind of clip. And when you're installing it back, you are not sliding it from above. Just click it, click it like this, and it will pop in place. Okay, so when it comes to removing uh, this, to disconnecting the handle line, all you need to do is use this clip to release it. And for the uh, windows, uh, window switch, there's a, there's a latch that you need to press. I know I'm not sure if you can see this over see this over here right over here you need to press over here to release it from the window button okay I've, I've installed back this mounting element with new seal behind it I removed the alt uh, the, mm, the clip and put it in the new door, car door card Okay, so here's the uh, here's the module. Now maybe it's time for wiring. There was a zip tie over here holding those three wires. Now to release this blue 32 pin connector, you need to press over here and move this purple one. And to add wires, you need to gently pry this blue lock and once it's pried, well it's, once you hold it like this you need to move the white insert and in fact there are two steps of this lock so it will first go like this maybe two pins out and you need to do it again to remove it all together okay i have those two cables ready left door and right door and also i've made a uh, ground connection with loop for the uh, ground. Okay, another mistake. I assumed that the uh, door body will have ground connection, but it does not. So we need to take ground connection from one of the brown wires. Here's the power supply, I believe, for the door module, but I don't want to cut such important wire. So instead, I'm going to take the ground connection from this this is a connector for the windows uh, window switch the brown one is ground so we are going to cut it and take the ground connection from here <laughs> 